नमस्कार नमस्ते और ऑल गुड विशेज एंड अ वंडरफुल टाइम फॉर द नेक्स्ट हाफ एन आवर टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स वट वी गॉन्ट टू डिस्कस इज ऑन कॉम्युनिकेशन कॉम्युनिकेशन जब हम पैदा होते थे फ्रॉम द टाइम यू आर बॉर्न टिल द टाइम यू आर डेड वी आर कॉम्युनिकेटिंग एंड कॉम्युनिकेटिंग इज वॉट वॉट डू वी कॉम्युनिकेट वॉट डू वी कॉम्युनिकेट येस वी कॉम्युनिकेट आइडियाज थाट्स पैक्स figures emotions body language love and that's the best part we communicate love yes and to whom do we communicate and why do we communicate very very important we communicate to a set of people and why do we communicate we communicate to get results so there is a small definition of communication it's a expression of ideas thoughts facts figures to a particular set of audience which will stimulate the other person into action or reaction but what is your communication do you know then your communication is one of the most important thing of part of your life you communicate thoughts and ideas to a set of audience which will stimulate the other person into action only and this is what we talking about all communication has to get result oriented you have to get some work done out of people now communication basic worldwide is divided into five basic principle and one of the most important thing is communication through eye contact right from childhood when a child is hungry the child makes an expression makes a sound and you serve that milk or water communication is all about eye contact let us take an example i'll give you a share or two example there are 30 40 example but let me share one or two example when your mother has guest at home and the guest are sitting right in front and diagonally opposite is a, a lunch or a cooking place where you are standing and your mother makes a signal and you exactly know what you are supposed to do make coffee tea or cold drink and your mother makes one more sound and one more eye contact and you come to know exactly that you have to get biscuits tea or whatever extra you want and that is communication when a guest comes home at 6 o'clock in the morning and you as a child open the door and when the guest comes in the mother rushes into the hall and only through eye contact makes a contact with her husband and the husband picks up his stuff and takes it to the uh, into the hall the husband the child picks up things and in that 15 seconds the hall is clear amazing eye contact and the mother looks at the person he says yes what do you want and he looks at the house and he tells the mother oh my god the house is so clean at 6 in the morning but he doesn't know it was the magic of the eye contact the mother says what do you want and he says no you want tea coffee or what he says no i just came to say that tonight there is a party please come this is all about eye contact there are many many things when you are in a classroom and a teacher looks at you and you know exactly that a question is going to come to you and you are ready and prepared and when a teacher looks at you and you know that a question is going to come to you you move your face away and keep away from the teacher it's amazing how that eye contact can work have you seen two people sitting in a hotel a girl and a boy and they order a cold drink ice chilled cold drink in the summer and after an hour they don't even touch a drink a sip and that cold drink becomes hot and they say it was wonderful talking to you it was only pure love expressed through eye contact hatred love there are many things that can be spread out basic communication starts with eye contact eye contact is one of the best communication that you could have leaders have expressed their thoughts ideas facts figures people have expressed their religion belief through eye contact they exactly know from 100 people sitting in the classroom or into the veranda they know how many are following and how many are not following and you as a person should know 
what good is eye contact for you? It is amazing part of communication. Eye contact, 75% of people today do through an eye contact. When I go to buy vegetable, I have a relationship with that old lady. And an amazing relationship. And I ask for cauliflower. And he'll say, Kal leke jana. I know it's a stale one, it's not good quality. And she looks at my eye and says, buy this. So I pick up some other vegetable. And people at home get worried that we told you to get something, why did you get something? But they don't know. The relationship with that lady of mine is something fantastic. What is eye contact? Yeah. Eye contact is one of the basic part of communication. When a person is sick and you look into his eyes, that sign of worry, the sign of getting treatment is all there in the eye. The doctor can, you, you can make out from a doctor whether he's concerned how much about you and how much worried about you and are you taking care of yourself. Your eyes give away. I cannot be a sick man. I like to be active. But my eyes give away when I'm not well. People at home recognize, people in the family, people in the college, people in the university, they recognize that my eye contact, from my eye contact that I am not keeping well. Yes, apart from the basic principle of eye contact, one of the most important thing is voice modulation. Now what is voice modulation? A voice modulation is an R subject, one R to one and a half R, and there are ways of improving your voice. I will share certain things with you about voice modulation. You need to do humming. Humming for about 10, 10 minutes. One, one minute. What is humming? <laughs> 10 minutes of this. One, one minute at a time. You can't do it for 10 minutes. You see, even my voice has changed now. Just 15 seconds of humming. Practice humming. Singers should humming. Speakers should humming. And the best part about humming, people who have stammering problem, their humming, through humming, they will improve by 30-40%. There are a lot of other exercises which I'll teach you where your humming can improve your voice. Your humming can improve your stammering. All you need to do is come here, do humming, do a lot of other exercise. Call me up. Call the university up and I will personally come down and spend an hour on creating what humming can do for you. Humming is a unique thing which can create a wonderful voice. And if you can sing together, practice together and talk together, your humming will make a lot of difference. Humming basically for 10 minutes minimum a day, you get your voice, original voice back. People lose voice. People don't even know what the original voice looks like. <laughs> whenever I go for a talk, whenever I'm invited, whenever I get a chance to hum for two, three minutes quietly, even loudly and softly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, even that humming does help. Very, very important in the next part of communication skill is you have your eye contact, voice modulation and body language. Basically, it will take me a one complete day to tell you what body language teaches you, what body language communicates you, what do you communicate through your body language. Basically, 56 body action. Amazing it is. Your body gives you away, whether you are angry, love, short, sweet, whatever it may be. Body language is something good. If your hands and you are shivering, you know what it means. I can make out from there what body language is all about. You need to understand what body language can do to you. Body language is one of the most important things. There are many a time when you see people thinking that they are approaching you, but they pass by. Because their body language you misunderstood. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you need to concentrate on your body language. You are not an actor, or you are not a philosopher, and you are not a kind of a person that you need to. Just pure, simple body language, your voice modulation, body language and your eye contact will exactly tell you. If you are angry, if you are angry, your eyes will be angry, your voice will be angry, your whole body will be angry. If you are happy, your voice will be happy, your body will be happy and your action will be happy. 
And if you are upset, the whole eye contact, voice modulation and body language will be upset. All these three combined give you one feeling. Whatever you are, it all works together. Happiness, sadness, whatever it is. Please, control this teasing and you have mastered your whole communication. Because this is one communication, eye contact, voice modulation and body language, which you need to express, you need to understand, you need to talk, you need to work on it. And if once you can develop this, then you are on a right job. After this comes the one of the most important thing is P and P and B and B. That is basically what we talk about. Sure. That D and D means what? It is diction and delivery. Now what is diction? Diction is pronunciation. What is pronunciation? I, I can assure you, if I write down the basic principle, three simple words. Okay. And we, we cannot say, if I say B, B E and B E E. Can you make out what it means? We all say B, B, B. No. When you say the first B, your upper lip moves up. B, B. The second one, B, E, your lower lip moves up. B, 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 B. Third one, B, double E. First, second and right open. B, B, B. That's what pronunciation is all about. Your whole language needs to be improved. You need to work on it. You need to concentrate on it. If as a child we can develop this into our children and we work on it, there is nothing that you cannot. Please, for God's sake, it's a request. Do not use words which you are not comfortable with. There are people who try to impress that they have the vocabulary, the word power, they know all this so well. But then they have problem in pronunciation. We sometimes simple words, we mispronounce. Why do we do that? You will never find over the years, I have been brought up in a Cambridge school. I have been brought up in a very well-known school. I have learned public speaking from the year last 42 years, 43 years back. I have been a, a Bible reader, I have been everything. But I only read until I was sure that I'm saying the right word. I was brought up in a Christian school. We did Bible reading every morning. And I would run to do it. I would run, go on a Sunday with my friends to temples and do bhajans and puja. And believe me, I went on Friday to mosque and it was wonderful because I learned how to use words, Urdu words, pronunciation. And once you can master that, then nobody can beat you in diction and then delivery. Now that D and D delivery, what is delivery? At what speed do you think I'm talking? Now I'm talking at about 150 words per minute. But earlier, I was talking at about 120 words or 130 words per minute. You talk in a language that people can follow you. What are the news readers? Who are they? A normally Indian English news reader talks at about 135 to 145 words per minute. Believe me, trust me, what do you think do you understand? A BBC fellow talks about 220 words per minute because they are not bothered whether you understand or not. His job is to cover maximum news in that particular time. You, I, I listen to new news, but I listen to sports news. When there is news on cricket, I will stand in front of the TV and listen to the news. Then he can talk at any speed he wants. After three minutes of all the cricket news, I go away. It doesn't work. It doesn't worry me. Somebody talks about politics and they'll sit down and alarm and they say, okay, what are we going to hear? They like something to relax. At 120 words, you listen to the thing, the diction and delivery. I, I tell you, I'll ask you many things. There are so many examples when you come for training. A two-day training, I am just trying to explain to you. You will understand okay, what speed you need to do delivery. Diction and delivery. Delivery is very, very important. Now comes the most important thing. All After all this for comes subject matter. Subject matter is something very unique. What is subject matter? How do you make a subject? You need to sit down and work on this. You need to understand the philosophy of this. Okay, what is subject matter? 
like all news reader they break it up into various subjects sports news political news e news achievement news so many of them it's like a movie in the end you need to have that once you can speak eye contact voice modulation body language subject matter delivery then your comes the subject matter very very important after diction delivery get your thoughts organized it will be a unique opportunity so that you know what are your subjects you need to know exactly you cannot refer on your subject particular from one book or one news reader or one person we believe in one newspaper we read a newspaper say this newspaper is right the subject is clear this is exactly what i am trying to tell you my friends my ladies and gentlemen understand that subject matter is also very very important in anything in life so you finish your communication with mastering the basic five topic eye contact voice modulation body language diction and delivery and subject matter but above all this there is one very important thing my friend and what is that important thing you can tell me no what you are thinking i am thinking something else whatever you communicate like i have whatever i have been having it for last 30 minutes or so what do you think i have you need to have that warm smile an original gen- genuine smile that will go a long way in making you what you are because yes please do not give when you are talking about death anniversary do not have a smile on your face unless of course he has left some million pounds on your name then you have that smile anyway this is the basic thing of communication and what more can we talk about now i'll teach you how do you prepare a talk and prepare a speech or prepare anything in life there are three basic rules a magic formula which i have found over the years of 40 years a magic formula that tells you that you need to prepare your any talk in the world with this formula you name the topic any topic one formula you talk on love you talk on hatred you talk on science you talk on achievement you you talk on positive attitude you talk on confidence building there is only one and the first rule is state the facts the facts can be positive or negative state the fact if it's a short speech just write two or three facts if it's a long speech you have 10 facts if you have a full day speech you can have 30 facts about that particular topic once you have that then you achieve what you have sat down to do <coughs> is that clear state the fact both negative and positive you can take couple of topics and formula will be the same state the fact and discuss from it once you've written down the education system is becoming better and better then you discuss from it how it has become better and better high funda technology or science medical everything is used together tonic so that is just stating the facts you discuss from it when you talk about discuss from it we mean that you talk about movies say it's become better <coughs> much more colorful much more whatever it is is talking about teaching talking about expression talking about learning state the facts discuss from it and finally that magic formula appeal for action you need to appeal for action very 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 important and how do you appeal for action it's my request ladies and gentlemen every one of you all get into action i appeal for action to go back and spread this word what i'm talking about one of the most important thing right from the time you are born till the time you die you are asked to give a speech 17 times 17 times you give talks is one of those most wonderful thing that you have i tell you where do you start when a child's birthday party you get an occasion to talk about is wonderful feeling when you wish a happy birthday to a child it's a communication for the first time and the child replies back a 5 7 year child says thank you very much when you give that child that's communication communication comes basically when you welcome someone to a new home welcome someone to your house welcome someone for a party welcome someone for a festival welcome someone for a, anything that's also communication then communication comes when you are going home to a hospital 
to wish someone get well soon. There is no need to spend hours lecturing them what to do and what not to do. Just wish 15 seconds to 30 seconds. All the best to you. May God help you. There are communication when you get ready. When you get ready to go out for a party, for a celebration, for a thing that your festival. India is a place where every month you have three festivals. Trust me, 12 months and you have 40 festivals apart from your own personal festival as such. It's amazing country where you get a chance to express yourself. We need to take up this opportunity. I was holding a lecture and one of those people from the press turned around and said, sir, give, give a speech when a divorce is taking place. And for a minute I was shocked. Okay, why is this girl asking me to give a talk when a divorce is taking place? I said, okay, anyone can help me out. None could. I did. I said, it gives me a very great satisfaction that two people lived for eight years together. They were strangers when they met, they became one. And for eight years they lived together. And suddenly they realized they are looking for better pastures, greener pastures, and they moved on. I can only wish, may they find better partners, much more fruitful, much more for enjoyable, and invite, both of them should invite us for a party again, a wedding party. If not, after a year, you do not find a right partner. My request is for eight years to move together, come back again as one, and let's have one more party. This is what I would wish them all the best. Welcome to the world. And it was highly appreciated, with round of applause. He said, yes, a divorce can take place. There are many a times when get well things, People talk about accidents, people talk about, it can be humor, it can be everything except death. That's the only time when I feel you cannot take participate in that. My good work to you all, my good wishes to you. I will add more to it in the days to come and I'm sure you will have a lovely time.